What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to create pages in WooCommerce. Pages that is the cart, checkout or my account pages. Let's imagine that you just have started using WordPress and you did build your shop. You did create products and you did create the shopping page. However, how to complete the shopping process? First of all, we're going to click on the product and click on Add to Cart. As soon as you click on it, you're going to see a button called View Cart. However, in the case that you do not have the cart page previously created and set into the WooCommerce plugin, you're going to be headed directly to your site front page, to the home. So, the very first step is go to your page, add new and create a page called Cart. In my case, I'm, gonna use, uh, I'm, I'm using a page builder, so I have the cart and other elements to edit this page. But the very first thing that you need to look at is the cart. If you are using any page builder, you're gonna see the WooCommerce tab and you can call WooCommerce elements, call it my cart, checkout. And as soon as you do that, you can go to WooCommerce, into your WordPress dashboard, settings, and into the settings, you're gonna type you're going to go to Advanced. In Advanced, you can see the shop pages. Very first thing to do is set the product page that's going to be your shop. And after that, the Advanced page. Of course, you do need to complete every single set of this. And WooCommerce, when you install it, offers some guides for it. But the things that we are looking like, it's this one, into the Advanced. The cart page, we're gonna type cart. The checkout page, we created pages previously, so type the name of the page that you create, assign in this section, and save changes. Now, Let's go to the cart page once again. As you can see, as soon as you set this page to be your cart, if you, if you click on add elements, you can do it with any page that you want. The important thing is create the page and tell to WooCommerce that this page is going to be your cart page. In the case that you are using the WP Bakery Page Builder, you can click on the plus button, WooCommerce tab, select the element, and feel free to edit the page in the way that you want. Now, let me explain how to do this process in the case that you do not have a page builder. For example, you are using the default WordPress installation with Gutenberg Editor. You're gonna go to Google and type WooCommerce shortcodes in order to get the page shortcodes. So, after that, you're gonna go to Pages, find out the page that you want to be your cart page, give this page a title, and just post the, the short code that you just copied on the WooCommerce.com website documentation. Or you can add a block, type short codes, and inside the short codes, type the content. Save change, and you are good to go. Once again, there's much types and ways to input this element. However, this is the simpler one because it does not need any plugin, just WooCommerce and WordPress itself. Let's go back to the WooCommerce settings advanced. Let me assign the page. I'm gonna type cart because this is the page title. Save change. Now, if you go to shop, click on add to cart and click on view cart, you're gonna be redirected to the cart page. And if you go to proceed to checkout, you're going to be directed to the checkout page where you can complete the account and proceed to payment. A 
another good thing to do is after creating these pages, you're gonna have the shopping menu, eating. But we need to add this cart, checkout, and account pages into the menu. So we're gonna move to our WordPress appearance menus. You can view all pages into the page section or search for these pages. Select the pages. Click on add to the menu. Just make sure that you are adding these pages to the proper menu. Everything has this own menu style. For example, here in my case, we have the main menu and the right and left menus. The bank is for the mobiles. Right and left is for desktop. In my case, on the desktop, the shop has all, has cart and checkout, but I'm gonna search for the account. Click on add item, drag this item and drop into the shop. Save change to save the menu. And now if you hover over the shop item, you can see my account. The process to create the my account page is the same of cart or checkout. And you can edit this page in the case that you want. Just a final note, in the case that you are using any visualmodel.com portfolio of WordPress themes, if you download the theme there, you can see the theme option panel with a setting called WooCommerce cart. If you enable this, you can enable on mobiles or desktops or both. You can have a cart icon, this fancy icon into your menu. If you hover over it, you can see the items of your cart and view cart or proceed to check out buttons perfectly for shopping websites. And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes, with all those features and much more, and I see you later, all the best!